I feel exhausted just listening to that. That was pretty energetic. Uh, pretty, pretty full on from uh, Steve Boyd and uh, what, Rum Reverie now, isn't it? Rum Reverie. Yes, Steve Boyd's Rum Reverie. Rum I was about to reverie. ask you, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> As Adler. Uh, before that, by the way, we had Tom Waits, who I believe you, I, I would imagine you're a bit of a fan of Tom Waits. Yes. Who isn't? Yes, I know. People of a certain age, anywhere between 18 and 80, are fans of Tom Waits. Indeed. That's the certain age. Steve Boyd's Rummer of E, um, and uh, they're in the studio at the moment, a rather rush setup, but I know they're professionals and be able to put up with any sort of loose arrangement I've got of microphones around here. Um, that's a, what, it's a, a, I guess you call it an EP or a... Yeah. Single? Not a single. It's a bit more than a single. Four yeah, tracks. Yeah, we prefer to see it as a little larger than a single. And, and you're uh, going to be launching that um, sometime in the very near future. You next, may as well tell us. Next Thursday as part of the Leaps and Bounds Festival. Uh, Thursday the 7th at the Gasometer Hotel. The Leaps and Bounds Festival, is that... Uh, do you know much about the arrangement with that or...? Um, I know it's been going on for about three or four years, mm. uh, or thereabouts, <laughs> um, and it's like, uh, what, what's that area, you know, Yarra, Yarra it's like yeah. a Yarra Community Arts Festival, um, and it's too early for me to elaborate any more <laughs> than that. It has some great artists. But you, know you are, we may as well get the uh, plugging of the gig out of, uh, well, not out of the way, we'll mention it again uh, later, but yeah. you're on with the Duncan Phillips, uh, a man from, what, Shetland? From the, yeah, from Shetland, or the Shetland Dialers. And you yourself are originally from? I'm originally from Dundee uh -huh. in Scotland. I can't pick regional accents. <laughs> I'm sure there is one. Well, yeah, mine's mellowed a lot because I've been here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, do you find um, the people when, uh, I don't know if you've been back or talked to relatives there, do they say you've uh, lost your accent and become Australian? The times I have spoken to uh, relatives, yeah, they sort of think I sound like an Aussie. <laughs> Which, it's ironic, isn't it? I speak to some expat friends about this. It's, yeah, you're kind of... In a cultural no man's land, yes, in yes. a sense, as yeah. an immigrant. Did you have to adapt to make yourself understood? Did you actually consciously modify the way you spoke? Or uh, I know that's a bit of a rude question, but I work at SBS, and I'd say, yes, I know sure. a lot of people do sure. speak a different way, you know, to others than they would to me. Certainly, yeah, or off air or whatever. Um, yeah, I suppose so. And like anything, there's a local dialect. In most uh, cities and towns and countries and whatnot, so obviously you have to give up a lot of your slang terminology because people just don't know what the hell you're talking about. This band's called Rum Reverie. 
Um, maybe oh, I've got a list of names here, but maybe you'd like to introduce them because people get enough. Indeed. Of um, firstly, I'd like to on air say thank you so much to all the lads for getting up at this ungodly hour and, yes. and joining me here. It's fantastic. A whole band. It's rare we get the whole. Uh, rare we get a drummer in. Usually yeah, they're exactly. the ones who say nah, yeah. nah yeah. Yeah. no way. Well, Paul's generally very difficult to fit on a stage full stop. So I, c- I can't believe he's in here. Well, that's uh, that's Paul Fitters. Fiddies? Fiddies. Fiddies. Yeah. Fiddies, yeah. sorry. I should have written it down. Um, Fiddies, if you want to be posh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so on stand-up bass, we have Craig Kelly. Uh, we just said Paul Fiddies, or Paul Fiddies. Uh, on drums, we have the two Daves on brass. We have Dave Palmer on trombone and Dave Williamson on saxophone. Now, you and Paul go a long way back, don't you? Probably further than the rest, or am I wrong? Yes, yeah, we've... It, too far indeed. It's been a long time. We're, we're like an old married couple. Because you've gone on various guises, haven't you? It's a rum reverie now, but... Uh, yeah, the last thing was was quite a long time ago now. It was uh, the Steve Boyd review, and prior to that, Steve Boyd and the Preachers. We'll talk some more soon, but I'd love to hear something. Certainly. Okay. This is a wee tune from the EP. It's called Baby is Mine. My baby is wrong, my baby is right. My baby is loose, my baby is tight. My baby is day, my baby is night My baby is mine, my baby is fine My baby is red, my baby is hot My baby is given, my baby is got My baby is stolen, my baby is bought My baby is mine, my baby is fine My baby, she does what she wants, she does what she pleases she pokes and she pokes, she taunts and teases. She's put as she is, and as she is, Jesus. My baby's mine, my baby's mine. Watch out, baby. So fine. My baby is here, my baby is now. My baby is when, my baby is how My baby's a promise, my baby's a vow My baby's mine, my baby's mine My baby's an answer, my baby's a prayer My baby's a toe, my baby's a fear My baby's a hider, my baby's a lair My baby's mine, my baby is mine my baby, she does what she wants and she does what she pleases. She evokes and she provokes, she talks and teases. She's born as she is and as she is Jesus. My baby's mine, my baby is mine. Watch out now, baby. My baby is virtue, my baby is sin, my baby is a loss, my baby is a win, my baby is fine, oh, my baby is mine, my baby is virgin, my baby is a law, my baby is on her knees, just a beggar for more, my baby is someone, even an angel's a door, my baby is man, oh, my baby is fine. My baby, she does what she wants, and she does what she pleases. She evokes and she provokes, she counts and teases. She's born and she's out of she's Jesus. My baby's a man, my baby's mine, my baby's mine, my baby's mine. Ah, uh-huh, yes, I think claps all around. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tim. That's pretty keen stuff. Oh, 
I've been, I feel like I've been playing. <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> I might actually get you to move your amp a little closer to the action too, to no. something that resembles a microphone, if it's possible. Yeah. Um, I had to throw my own microphone across there to get that. My very own. Yep. The gold-plated one. That sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> Move your amp a little closer to the action. Yes. I like that. Uh, Steve Boy- Boy's Rum Reverie. They're playing uh, the Gasometer Thursday, the 7th of July, next Thursday, as part of the Leaps and Bounds Music Festival. Steve, uh, we mentioned some of your other bands before. You took a bit of a break from music for a while. Yeah. Yeah, a long extended break. Um... Previously, there was uh, a band called the Steve Boyd Review, which was an original band, um, and it was, I suppose, exercising our old-school soul influences, and prior to that, it was uh, Steve Boyd and the Preachers. Okay. Which is going back, that's actually over 15 years ago. You did, you did some... Scary. You did some work with... I guess people who've uh, had a bit of a rough trial in life, um, uh, uh, musically. It's certainly, during yeah, during my, my hiatus, hiatus yes. my gap, my extended gap year. Um, yeah, I worked for a, I still do actually, work for a, a not-for-profit organisation for uh, Vincent Care or St Vincent de Paul, as people would probably recognise more. Um, and I facilitated a music therapy group and a songwriting therapy group for homeless people. And that included all sorts of marginalised members of the community, people with mental health issues um, and yeah, facing all sorts of struggles. And that was a very different way to approach music, but very rewarding. So you reckon that uh, what you're producing now, a, a, a lot of... Did, you, did that influence what you're doing now in any way? Or? Most definitely, yeah. yeah. Probably... Uh, I'm, I'm probably realising just how much it influenced me. It certainly influenced me lyrically. And because I was... It's interesting to facilitate a songwriting therapy group. I didn't really know what that meant or how that was going to look. Uh, and I guess I worked it out along with the, the participants, if you like. Uh, and you learn an awful lot about yourself and about the writing process. So, yeah, I definitely... I was definitely influenced by it. I get the feeling and then you don't have to mention this but from your press release which in, in vague sort of ways indicates that you went through a bit of a rough time which sort of led you into that area perhaps or made you perhaps identify with the people you're working with a little more certainly look uh, as as is the case with many people especially once you're of a certain age life tends to get in the way now and again and uh yeah i you know had my slings and arrows and the rest of it um uh, and yeah, I guess I sort of did end up not, but it was also to do with becoming a father too. I had to get a, I had to a get job. a job <laughs> and actually have some money. A real, you job. know, yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to work out what I could do outside of, uh, you know, sleeping in until three in the afternoon and rolling up to a pub somewhere and playing music. Uh, and I guess yeah, my my politics and my natural sense of social justice led me to that area seems to be a scottish thing it does indeed yes social justice social justice indeed uh and well look we won't go into it i was about to say we don't want to talk politics but (laughs) it's kind of inevitable it's election day isn't it it's the vote yes now speaking of all things scottish it's uh what's the tag with this no bagpipes uh, it's basically (coughs) you've got (coughs) Um, Duncan Phillips will be there with... Uh, Dun- Duncan Phillips, yeah. Uh, it's a double we, CD launch. It's a double CD launch. So Duncan Phillips and the long stand, obviously, will be playing and um, launching their record as well. Um, Duncan, I think he's been in Australia, uh, and I apologise if I get this wrong, Duncan, if you're listening, which he probably not, it's too early, um, for about six or seven years. Um so yeah duncan's making a name for himself it's rootsy kind of uh country alt original uh passionate stuff with a nice melodic pop sensibility um i'm starting to sound like a journal <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the next career yes and uh, that, that doesn't pay any money these yeah, days uh, definitely not <laughs> um and of course i should mention it uh our dear old friend uh 
Mr. Alex Burns will be opening ah. up the night with Cain Borlays on bass. Excellent. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's all, uh, once again, if, for those people just tuning in, 7th of July, this Thursday at the Gasometa as part of the Leaps and Bounds Festival. Uh, we're talking to Steve Boyd. And we have also in the studio the Rum Reverie. Just another thing about career choices. I think, Paul, you're a bit of a, a, a shutterbug uh, yeah. on a professional level. Oh, no. You're miles from a, a microphone. But, uh, yeah, shout it, it or something. It wasn't on a professional level, but I, I did have a, a, a couple of good uh, little weekend gigs doing that at the Luau. Yeah. Um, I had a regular week uh, weekend gig there and at the Ding Dong Lounge. And Steve... You dabble in photography, or is the other? Is that another oh, Steve? No, boy? definitely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I, I haven't I'm asked terrible. the rest of the band anything about themselves. If you've got anything to offer, now's your chance. <laughs> I'm not going to ask any questions. We, I'm sure you've all got a, a, a tremendous backstory, but I want to, if, if possible, can I hear another tune live? Are you able to do one? Um, certainly. Why yep. not? Um, we. Decided, you know, because it's LA, I, I was trying to think, okay, what's what's a good tune or two to play at this time of day? Um, we're going to play a tune that isn't on on the record, but it is in our set, and we will be playing it on the seventh of the Gasometer. It's a song called Spencer Jones. <laughs> Shuffled in that day looking kind of fragile and tame But a little mick even, perhaps a little lost I'd say He wasn't wearing no cowboy hat, not at all He was in fact dressed quite unassumingly I guess He seemed to blend in with the street and blend in with the crowd Appearing almost in disguise no swag and no strut, but still raw and still real. So very real indeed. I felt as though I chance upon an opportunity to take a sneak peek through a window that otherwise had its curtains drawn. I felt like he'd permitted me to view this room with the furniture a little dusty and torn in places was antique, decadently rare. We drank strong black coffee, smoked cigarettes, and discussed the healing power of music. He explained his desire to share the gift, the holy, the unholy, and so very much more. Oh, yeah. He came down stairs to play Cool as a breeze He blew us all away Spencer P. Jones Spencer P. Jones Let me hear you, Dave began to get to know this guy a little bit matter more often I realized that just like me he had his demons and his own cross to bear I pictured the beautiful dark young Latin woman who'd stolen his heart and ran off somewhere I realized exactly what he was talking about there Clumsily I tried to empathize, but I realized that he knew just as I did that no words could possibly help heal those kinds of wounds. No, yeah.
never to play some tunes with a man. I was a little shy at first, it's true, but the way he laid that groove down so slow and so smooth and easy, that's how it's done, man, that's completely how it's done. He was about the primal and the instinctive, seemingly oblivious to all the bravado and trickery. I felt it flow like water, like coffee, like wine, like whiskey, like blood. The life he breathed into a cheap and nasty kid's guitar with a feather fin pick plucked straight from his pocket. Man, I tell ya. I tell ya. Thank you, too. Uh, and at this time of morning, too. Indeed. I hope, you, I hope you haven't ruined yourself for the rest of the week. Uh, I hope. <laughs> but that, that was the intention all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's fabulous. Um, what, what can I say? Spencer P. Jones, of course, a legend. Indeed. And uh, has had some rough times himself recently yeah. and still having them and uh, yeah what a great yeah. what a great wonderful song well when you asked me before if i was influenced by uh, the job i did working with homeless people um spencer actually became a volunteer and he was a mentor for a period of time within my uh songwriting and music therapy group which was quite an honor and a privilege to say the least so that's what inspired that song you have been listening to the wonderful sounds of Steve Boyd's Rum Reverie, all of them, I believe, in today. No one, yes. no absentees at all. No, they being full attendance uh, record this morning. Very impressive. <laughs> Steve Boyd himself, Craig Kelly on uh, stand up bass, Paul Fitters on uh, snare drum, and all the rest uh, this morning. But I imagine on a full kit on the night. And uh, the, the, the two Davids, David Williamson, I loved Don's party, it was fabulous, on Saxon <laughs> Vox, and um, David Palmer on trombone and also vocals, not vocals today, but will be on the night. Indeed. That night being Thursday, the 7th of July. Next Thursday, in fact. At the Gasometer Hotel. Get there early, as I mentioned before, Alex Burns with Kane Borlase is opening the evening. And again, a double CD launch with Duncan Phillips in a long stand and us, Steve Boy's Rum Reverie. So we intend to have lots of fun. Uh, I'm sure it will be. And that song's worth the price of a ticket. The tickets, I mean, are rather steep. Ten bucks, my God. Twelve dollars on the door. Jeez, I'll have to save up for that one. <laughs> It's That's very a reasonable, very reasonable price yeah. for, for what is going to be a great night and is a great venue as well, I must add. You bet. We've delayed Bodan a bit, but I think it was worth it. He'll be up uh, very shortly with his segment, Dirt. The time is 20 minutes to 8. Thanks one, once again to Steve Boyd and the Rum Reverie. Thanks very much for having us. Triple R presents.